All right, let's do a as quick as I can a glitter comparison, a little leather comparison on a few pairs of ones. So these are in release order. We're going to start out with the 2016 Black Toes. And I know with certainty that the red portion and likely the white is all real leather. The black collar is leather, which is pretty rare. Most of the time ones do not have leather back here. Not even the 2001s use leather. The whole upper is leather. This collar portion is synthetic, but not on these black toes. It's one of the reasons I like them so much besides they look super badass. But that's beside the point. Um, I have seen a little bit of, of um, glitter leak out onto the, particularly these lace stays. Although right now I would say I'm not seeing any. And so it's a tough call. I, um, I want to believe these are, have black real leather, but I don't know that they do. I can tell you with total certainty that swoosh is synthetic though. Uh, I can't get my thing to focus, but you can tell a lot of times with the scratch test and those little fake tan dimples, they're trying to uh, syn uh, synthesize a tanning process, which is how you get those um, dimples on there. But when you scratch it, it's smooth and it doesn't doesn't catch your fingernail. Like I have enough of a nail that should catch. It doesn't. You scratch this, it does kind of dig. See, and it leaves a mark. And this definitely catches. It's pretty rough, um, which is a good sign. So there's the black toe. Let's get this back in the box. Now we're going to move to 2017. I know what I'm going to see. Look at that glitter. For God's sake, they look like God dang Peter Pan Tinkerbell shoes, man. Um, so, yeah, it's just covered in it. And this material is nearly identical to the swooshes on here. So I feel like I'm lucky that the swooshes haven't gotten that glitter effect, but they're also a very small amount of uh, you know material there. It's just the swoosh versus this entire upper. This has a synthetic rough uh, kind of color, and it doesn't it doesn't have this nice smooth vibe that the black toes do so they're definitely not the same material collar um it just it totally feels different it, this is just smooth it feels like buttery it presses in and rebounds this has this just stiff um i don't know it's just it's slick it just doesn't feel the same so obviously the tumble leather that they overlaid, even though it's nothing like the original ones use, is really nice. Like it's super butter. It's very equivalent to probably the um, chatter backboards in, in that sense uh, for the starfish orange and the sail white portions. But yeah, I mean, this shoe's just covered in glitter. So it's a pretty easy tell that we're dealing with a synthetic and you see those dimples all throughout the upper. Some areas are worse than others. I think that's where this pair got, you know, really tripped people out because they were complaining about the tumbling being, you know, too smooth or too pebbly, but everybody was ignoring the fact that all this black stuff is trash. Um, the other thing I look for is the edges. If they're super clean cut and they have any kind of like a white or a difference in the um, layering to them, then versus let's say the swooshes which have that nice raw cut and they're painted blue which is fine but you you can just tell you're looking at the leather grain versus something that's synthetic and like too perfect looks stamped out of a machine so anyway there's that then we'll move on to the newer of the three newest of the three being the defiance i've never worn these and you have nothing like that at all. Now I get that they're a year newer or a year and a half about was a mid 2019 and you got, you know, an, uh, what was this? An early 2017 release, but it, it, I'm, I'm looking at a full leather shoe here. Like it's, I don't even question. These are not going to glitter on me. If they do, I'll eat my hat. I'll eat this pair of shoes. This feels completely different. The whole thing is lightly tumbled. Um, it's not overdone. 
all the leather basically matches except the tongue. The tongue has a really low grade, probably real leather. Um, it does feel real. It's kind of smooth. It feels very cheap. It's obviously designed to be stiff and hold shape, um, to, you know, for a tongue to like stay popped. This is the only portion of the shoe that's, that I would say is kind of on the lower quality side, but even that is, is almost for sure leather. And I, and the, the way in which it's finished would lead me to believe it's never going to have a problem. Um, but you just can't beat the, the uppers on these. And that's why I think bloodlines have taken off and went from an outlet shoe to, you know, selling out. Uh, on resale because they're a full leather upper and that's what people want except on bloodlines you get the stupid synthetic faux you know backing that that line that goes all around whereas these defiance don't have that but you know you also only get one swoosh out of four it's all about looks with these so anyway i mean that's a distinct difference um you can tell you know just putting them side by side but to cap off this video because i know it's getting kind of long this is what we used to get from Jordan, and this is what will ruin you when you go from dealing with lip retros all the time. And I love having these, you know, the OGs are completely radically unaffordable. You can't even get beat pairs for under 1500, two grand. And so this one's in a replacement box, but you know, when you deal with original stuff, man, it's just night and day. We'll um, start with my, my beat pair. <laughs> So these need a re-glue, and I've worn them many times. But, I mean, you you have to understand this quality of leather. This was standard. This is what we used to get for retail, and you walk in and you bought them eight times out of ten. Like, they sold out, yeah, sure, eventually. But the leather on these is phenomenal. This is when they were made, the quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Well, it was, it was the best quality. I mean, these were the best quality basketball shoes and they just, they don't make them like this anymore, except in rare circumstances and collaborations and stuff. Um, got a dead stock pair to go with that. Never been laced. Um, you know, no difference in the leather, but I mean, this, this stuff is not only is the padding like super thick, but this leather is incredible. Um, now I will say I, the le the uh, lizard print portion here that's supposed to kind of mimic the twos. This is leather. Um, it's just got an impression put into it. You can tell by the cut, though, that it's the real deal because it looks exactly like the black. And that's what I'm saying. It's like those nice raw edges. You can just see the grain. You can feel it. You get the same thing in an original pair of 13s. This leather is every bit as phenomenal. In some ways, it's almost nicer than the 12s. Um, I've oiled these a few times just to keep the keep them from um, you know drying out. But that leather is is just crazy good. Um, love that fog hologram. This is microfiber. This is not suede. It's not even trying to be suede. It's full synthetic microfiber, just like a nice couch. Um, it's fragile. Definitely don't want to, you can, you can get it wet. It doesn't mind getting wet. You can clean it pretty easy, but you do not want to use brushes on that stuff. Just a word to the wise. I've had to fully re-glue these too. This was a project for me to get these back up and running. And then finally, uh, original pair of last shots. Built exactly like the 13 I just showed you. Same leather panels with microfiber toe, microfiber uh, back wrap. And obviously the rubber on the 23 panel, but you know, this was standard. This is what we used to get for 120, 130, 150 bucks. Um, you just, this leather is incomparable to these. They're just truly, there's, there's nothing. The defiance come the closest, but nothing's touching that leather. And that's what we don't have anymore.